So my experience working with executive teams specifically is that there often is one or two in that team that affects the entire culture yes. because of the nature of their disturbed personality. And right. how, do you, how do you really help uh, a, a good CEO that has that is committed to building a good organisation with a strong culture but has these one or two people that they're carrying and, and they by, by the mere fact of how they operate, they manage to manipulate themselves into these positions uh, and in some way can make themselves indispensable often as well. Right. They, they're they able to give good impressions to the board. Uh, they manipulate their entire surrounding and situation. It's very difficult to, to draw them out of an organisation. Right. So... Uh, let, let's make an analogy to the human body because that's a very complex system and every part has a function, even parts that we don't normally recognize. There, there are all kinds of processes going on inside all the time, but occasionally, occasionally for one reason or another, one of the parts uh, becomes problematic and it affects the whole system. And there are those cases there are those cases that even though the part brings some value to the whole enterprise and perhaps with enough modification, enough assistance, enough um, externally uh, imposed structure, uh, it can operate okay. There's sometimes when the only appropriate solution is an amputation. <laughs> There's yeah. a, sometimes the, the only thing is an excision. You have to get rid of the bad part um, in order for the system as a whole to continue. It certainly won't continue until that part is replaced or refurbished. Um, uh, but it, uh, so there are some times when all of the best intentions all of the best support systems, all of the best ways of helping to modify the way a part of the system operates just isn't enough uh, to sustain the system's health. And uh, so it just has to be excised. So there's that possibility. But mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm the eternal optimist. Mm -hmm. I always think that unless a person is truly heartless and unfortunately, we do have some folks among us that that would be an appropriate description mm -hmm. uh, that unless a person is heartless, there is a way to reach them. Yes. And the astute leaders within an organization know how to work with folks' strengths and weaknesses. They know how to assess those strengths and weaknesses, and they don't just um, use that knowledge to exploit a situation and make the best out of things and therefore, quote unquote, use people, uh, yeah. their best potential. They do more than that. They, they have in mind the bigger picture. 